Hi guys, GF7 and welcome to another video on this channel. Today is a bit of a different video in a sense that I'm showing you the Gfinity website to start off with and it's a Gfinity website where you play online tournaments, you play against some people who are professional, some people different and you pay about £3 a month just to play online, play against in tournaments as you can see on the screen it says all different games, Call of Duty, Rocket League, FIFA etc all different games that you can play and you can compete to get and you can get your rankings up by looking on your um, um, profile, you have different profiles, you can get your rankings, see how good you are and obviously that gets you recognised by eSports um, teams and talking about eSports teams, eSports teams the first thing I want to go on about me and my friend and someone else are in fact making an EA Sports team it's called Grafters Gaming it's a bit of a different name, there's a bit of context towards it but what I want to see, and this is what the Gfinity links into it I want to see if anyone wants to join and makes us build up because obviously you have to start from the very bottom when you make an eSports team and then make your way to the top that means playing in tournaments, playing in getting sponsorships etc etc and it all grows but the first thing that you need is to really get some decent players, have a name, we have a name, there'll be Twitter links, there'll be, and there'll probably just be a Twitter for now, but Twitter links down below, and then you'll be able to see everything about the eSports team that we are starting, it'll be an amateur one, if it becomes really good then obviously you can become the pro, but what I need for you guys is to leave comments or to tweet me, my Twitter will be down in links, or the gaming Twitter will be down below as well, tell me what games you play, I guess FIFA if you're watching the videos, um, maybe if you play Rocket League, maybe if you play Call of Duty, then I'm happy to take other players on, I'm happy to try and build a team, but I'll try and build a community, and obviously if it all goes well, then there'll obviously be bigger stages as we go forward, but for start off with it is basically aiming just to be an eSports team, just playing in competitive matches, in tournaments, obviously you can play on the MLG website as well, you can sign up to that, I've got the graph to sign up to that tournament as well and this is just simply what the idea of the tournament is to get into it. But as you can see, going on from that, just make sure that you do comment or DM me on Twitter or t tweet me. Just make sure. Anyway guys, we're getting into the Gfinity aspect of this video, which is pretty much the main part of this video, as this is the competitive gaming edge, I'll show you how I do. As you can see, I got in my first game, you get into brackets, you get into different players, and let's get into it. So guys, as you can see, I'm Real Madrid, he is Bayern München, Bayern München, and it's simply a tournament where I think first place is £100, second place gets £50, but like I said, for a month you get, th I think you have to pay £3 per month to play in these tournaments, and that's all you have to pay, and you can get ranked up and ranked up and potentially be really good. But like I did say, we are looking for players to play for us, and if you're looking to join a team, don't know how to get started, then we're probably the team you could join, because we're starting up, seeing where we can go with it. Obviously, in this you can do all your tactics, all you want, but you're just not allowed. Um, you're not allowed to move around the players, as in custom tactics, um, custom positions, custom formation stuff like that. So you can't move, say, like Tony Kroos further up the pitch as what he is in that formation. You've got to use a default formation and add to it. But you can do all your instructions, all your custom tactics that you play with. You can use all them. And here is the game, guys. First up, the first chance did fall to Modric, and I did win. This guy wasn't a pro, but you can play against pros in this, so you can get a real test of what you're playing against. Next up, he does get on the straight attack and see very shortly into the game, he does make it 1-1. And, of course, it's not easy for me, I'm not that good of a player. I'd like to play with people my stand if, you can, if I can, because I'd like to play with you guys who are about my quality. Then we can build up together through the esports, playing and sort out times, Skype calls, stuff like that, and that's all the good things about an esports team. But he did seem to have the better position in this game, you see there, he spins around and it goes 2 1 to him. It's a very good goal. Very not, it's a very good finish as well from Thiago. Then it goes around, Hamed Rodriguez to Benzema, Benzema finished the top corner and inside 20 minutes there was a 2-2 scoreline, which is very impressive for us because there's two teams who are better at attacking the minute. Then I was in here, I do pass it but it does in fact get blocked, it's unfortunate. And then Modric gets a ball into the box, I'm going and I get, and it's <laughs> it's a strange one isn't it really, it's, 
I've been taken out from behind, he's came running in, he's a bit sloppy, it probably is worthy of a penalty, but it's debatable. But at the end of the day, I'll obviously take that as a penalty. And then Cristiano Ronaldo, do you expect Cristiano Ronaldo to score? Of course, that is 2-3-2 two, two to us. And so guys, from that there wasn't too much in the first half, there's a few more little players, Ronaldo can't in but then defended away. And then he does go on to the counter with Lewandowski, back to Iago, back to Lewandowski, some decent football here, Robin, Vidal, but then in the end it comes to, Mo uh, to Marcelo. Then Kroos with the ball, he finds a little pocket of space into Benzema, Benzema into Cristiano Ronaldo, probably should have caught that back, back onto Ronaldo's right foot. But And then guys, that was pretty much it. And as you can see here, I win the first game 3-2, so I get the next match against Lucky Star. And then into the match, as you can see, he gets the first opportunity. Lucky Star, obviously, you get ranked, and then these can be of any quality. I wasn't sure if this guy's a pro, there wasn't too much on his thing, so... I don't know if he was a pro or not, but there was a potential that he could have been. See, that one that just went wide from Lewandowski wins another corner. But I am Robin to take. You've got a corner tactic that works decently on here. Pelo Navas, ball up to Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a brilliant touch from Ronaldo. Get the pace out, Alaba around him, but Ronaldo keeps running. Ronaldo's got strength to him. And Benzema is inside. It's a lovely front post run from James Rodriguez. And James Rodriguez does in fact make that 1-0 to us. And so guys, you can see that there, I won the first game. I was winning this one. I'm not going to spoil it for the rest of the game. But there's an edge of competitiveness. Like the weekend league does in fact. But you've got a chance for winning quite a bit of money from this. And then Lewandowski over term. Nearly mess it up by switching the players and then getting the thing. And then is James Rodriguez. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo's come in. This guy was quite solid. I mean, he marked the ball well, but obviously there's a bit of sloppy there. And then a ball through to Bale. Bale hits it. It's a good save. Wouldn't fall for Modric. And next up is half-time. Obviously, we were decently, but he was a bit better in the first half, in my opinion. And then he came out on top, he came out running. He down Lewandowski. But look at that ball, it's an absolutely great ball. He picked out the run superbly. Marcelo was too far in, and then there was, from that ball, there was little chance of me getting the defence in. And so he gets the 1 1. I would show you the replay of them goals, but he paused after every goal. Well, after that goal. And I don't know why, but. Then Ronaldo nearly gets in, but it does unfortunately go off. And then James Rodriguez dribbling with the ball gets round one. So on plays it out to the wing to Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale turns, and then James Rodriguez has a brilliant save from Manuel Neuer. Absolutely brilliant, but again, there's frustration from us as we probably could have won the game. And then there, that was just a bit sloppy from him. And Carvajal brings us up. And then again, like, it's just a bit of a sloppy pass. Renato Sanchez. I did play with Bayern Munich and Barcelona. They don't play well for me. But then look, Douglas Costa for him. Does in fact make it 2-1. And again, I can't show you the replay really because he paused the game. And then Cristiano Ronaldo gets tackled on the edge of the box. That's almost a last chance. He gets it out. He's in on goal with Frank Liberty from an amazing pass. Pepe's out of energy, not going to catch up. He does do the chip. That doesn't go in. And that is the game. So, guys, I made it to the um, second round. I've made it third round to my best round. And as you can see, there was. Um, I did finish 3 1 3 2 and lost 2 1. So guys, as you can tell, it's not the easiest of tournaments, and as I did lose 2-1, I don't know how Lucky Star went on to win, but he might have won it. But that is the main menu for Duke Make sure to check, make sure to message me if you're decent at games. I mean, you don't even have to be top-notch, but if you're just decent at games, message me, let me know, and I will be able to get to you, as I am trying to get us up. You will need to probably be able to pay the £3 to be able to play in these tournaments. I mean, if you're good at Rocket League, good at FIFA, good at COD... 
I'm happy to play all them. I haven't actually got COD at the minute. I will be getting COD, so I can start playing some Call of Duty on there as well. So yeah, that is the aim. The Gfinity, the MLG, the MLGs I'm going to stay away from at the minute because it is quite expensive and I haven't quite got the money to pay for it. But the Gfinity is definitely something you want to be playing with. Anyway guys, I'll be in GS7. Make sure to let me know if you are interested. And leave a like rating if you did enjoy. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.